<laughs> okay, welcome once again to my YouTube channel. It's been a little while, hasn't it, since I've uh, put any content out that wasn't focused around my new venture with the Dog Shark Blues Band. You might have noticed a slight rebrand of the uh, the YouTube channel to uh, incorporate now the, the my wider doings. Uh, give us a like, give us a subscribe. Um, hit up our website, there's some beautiful merch available if you want to buy a Dog Shark Blues Band t-shirt available now uh, exclusively from our website. So anyway, uh, here I am doing a little uh, thing with a guitar today. I have this, you might have seen this in other videos, this beautiful, it's a, a Made in Japan uh, ST62, 62 reissue Fender Stratocaster. And this has actually got some uh, late 80s uh, American standard pickups in it uh, and has been converted to be a slide guitar. So uh, this thing's developed a little bit of a problem with noise and um, so uh, let me uh, let me see if I can illustrate what I mean by that if I turn the volume all the way up on this guitar you can maybe hear a little bit of a hum there in the background I don't know if you can hear that kind of hum but it kind of goes away as well if I touch metal parts so there's a bit of a grounding issue but there's also a problem a big problem with electromagnetic interference certain types of electronic signals uh, really interfere with this guitar. Um, right now it's not too bad, but watch this. Alexa, activate cave LEDs. Ooh, did you hear that kick in? Can you hear that now? And if I touch the metal part, goes away a little bit, but it's still kind of there. Goes away, comes back. There he's there. Right, so So we've got a grounding issue, but we've also got this sort of electromagnetic interference issue. So what I thought I'd do is I'd do something that I've never tried before, I've never had to, I've never really felt the need. And that is to electrically shield it with copper tape. So we're going to have a go at that. Uh, and while we're at it, we're also going to fit a uh, new pit guard in there. These are the these are the 5762s which were in here previously. So hopefully that, uh, that will fix the grounding issue and will improve the... Uh, the, the electrical interference, but can you hear that's terrible, isn't it? So yeah, grounding issues, electromagnetic interference issues, so let's see if we can solve all that. Fingers crossed. Right, so here we are, with the guitar on the bench. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of a deconstruct to uh, to be able to get this pit guard off. Um, plan is, I wanna reuse these strings, so I'm probably just gonna take the neck off uh, get this whole pit guard up and out of the way because that's coming out and we're going to replace it with this whole assembly but in doing so we're also going to apply all the uh, the shielding uh, I've never done this before so this will be a, a new experience for me so let's see how it goes and I'm looking forward to seeing the results <laughs> Right, so I've pretty much got that sorted now. It's not the neatest job, I'll be honest with you. First time I've ever done this, so finding the correct technique to get all this put in there was uh, was a little tricky. 
Um, I won't bore you with the details of that, but uh, it's all in there now, fairly neat. And as you can see, I've kind of left a bit of a, a lip for the most part, uh, coming over the edge of all the cavities. Um, because what we're, we're trying to achieve here is contact between this as a grounding plane um, and the pit guard. Uh, and then we'll continuity test everything, but for the moment we've got two isolated cavities here which have got two isolated ground planes, this one and this one. Um, so I need to connect those, so I'm going to use a little bit of wire uh, to do that. I'm going to just trim this so I can use it. So we're just going to do a quick continuity test to make sure that all our stuff is uh, is all touching. So can you hear that? Beep. Continuity there. Oh, so we've got continuity there. Oh, look at that. That's good. Continuity there. Continuity there. 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 Everywhere. All right. So we're back. It's some time later, uh, and you might have noticed the ambiance in the room has changed. This is because it's night time now. So what we're going to do now is we're going to, uh, even though you can see pit guard here has uh, already got a, sort of a, a ground plane on it, some silver tape. We're actually going to take everything off, and we're just going to uh, cover it with our copper tape. So everything's kind of matchy matchy, and we're completing the. Uh, the job properly. So I'm going to crack on with that and catch up with you shortly. further down the road now. I now have a completely shielded up pit guard. Uh, the words pigs and ear spring to mind but we have complete coverage so what we want to do now is we want to do a continuity test and make sure that when we drop this in everything's going to be touching how we want it to be touching. So this is all properly grounded actually. Grounding it to this shield in here and one of the pots. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, 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 we seem to have good continuity wherever we need it, yeah, so I'm happy with that. Right, so all that remains is I have to wire all this back in now and uh, string it back up and uh, see what we end up with. So moment of truth, 
Uh, we've done all that shielding now. We've got our new pit guard in with our new pickups. These pickups are actually like a more vintage style, so really they should be noisier than than the previous ones. But remember, there was two issues we were facing here. One was generally noise being picked up by the surrounding environment and so on. And I illustrated that by illuminating my LEDs around the the, the ceiling here, uh, which introduced a huge amount of extra noise uh, into the equation and the other issue as well was every time I touched there was definitely a grounding issue because any time I touched anything metal um, it was it was grounding something and cutting out some of the noise uh, so right now uh, we've got our amp on uh, we've got our drive fully on so it's about as noisy as it can get from that perspective uh, and at the moment we're just all plugged in with the volume rolled down and there's nothing I can't hear anything at the moment where I could before, even with the volume rolled down, there was a little bit of something. So let's roll the volume up and see what we hear. Here we go. Oh, I can hear the noise, the guitar making a bit of noise, but it's silent. There's nothing. I mean, there's a tiny bit of hum. And let's see. I'm touching metal and nothing. I mean, I'm hearing microphonics, which you'd expect as I'm tapping things, but nothing. I'm touching the metal bits. And it's just silent. It's, I mean, I'm, I'm hugely impressed with that. That's excellent. And, well, that's it with the volume up. If I play. And we had that sort of clickiness as well before. Sort of static clickiness we were hearing before, that's all gone. Alright, so we also had that electromagnetic sort of interference noise coming in when the LEDs kicked on, so let's let's turn them on and see what happens. So volume all the way up and see? So nothing, nice and silent. Uh, so yeah, Alexa, activate cave LEDs. So they came on, and no difference, absolutely nothing. Um, so, flip, that's like phenomenal success. I don't think I was quite prepared for just how successful that was going to be. Um, if, uh, you know, I had my doubts before whether shielding actually did anything, but having done that now, wow. I mean, what a difference that makes. This is now... <laughs> So yeah, um, if anyone was ever in doubt whether shielding actually helps, um, then doubt no more. It flipping well does. Um, and if I can prove that to myself, then you should believe it too. <laughs> anyway, uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, if you like anything that you've seen here today. Uh, check out some of my other videos if you want to. Check out my band, a couple of great lads doing that with me, Matt and Simon. And uh, yeah, keep an eye out for us. Uh, a venue near you soon, so thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>